All right, what's up guys? This morning we're replacing a condensing unit for a mini split. Super simple, real easy. Uh, the old one had a blowout, a burnout on the compressor. All the refrigerant blew out the terminal and it's just black, nasty. So there's really no charge in it, but the line set does need flushed out. So we got this flush kit, bam, RX flush. We're gonna flush it out really well, blow nitrogen through it a lot, and then hook up the new one, wire it up, start it up go home easy Friday all right this is the one uh, I'm not really happy with the line set here I'm gonna be honest I know that there's a minimum line set length like that one over there actually looks pretty good if it were me I think I would have put that coil on the inside to where you can't see it but I happen to know that when these were being installed it was about two degrees outside with a negative 20 with wind chill snowing every day so i don't think that was really the main concern but anyways i'm gonna clean up that loop a little bit put the new one on there start it up i got plenty of nitrogen i'm gonna use a small one i'm probably gonna use that entire thing to uh flush the line set out i got the flush kit over there as well so let's get to it so these are mini splits hooked up to an air handler i got the control box to make that possible mini split condensing units all right, so they're mini split condensing units on the outside and they're just regular air handles on the inside. Uh, you have to put a control box and convert it and blah, 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 wire it up in a certain way. They have heat strips and there's a coil at the bottom. In that process, you take the coil or the TXV out of the coil and because these mini split condensing units have their own TEV or whatever it is, their own metering device inside the condensing unit. So. When, when I'm flushing this line set, long story short, when I'm flushing this line set, I don't, I don't have to worry about plugging an orifice or plugging the TXV or doing anything because it's just going to be the pure line set and the coil. So I'm going to flush it both ways, make sure the line set and the coil is completely clear, clean, put the new one on there, open the valves, good to go, hopefully. doesn't really slide very well. Okay, I'm just cutting the ends. I'm gonna redo the flares and put the new flare nuts on, make sure it's all new and nice. Now I'm gonna flush the lines that out, so.
going to redo the flares to my Navac automatic flaring gun, whatever it's called. I don't even remember. Do the liquid line now. I'm trying to mimic this exact loop. Okay, we're leak checking it right now. And uh, while I'm waiting, I'm going to start cleaning up the things I don't need. And then we'll put it on the vacuum pump. And then while it's vacuum pumping, and while it's pumping down anyways, I'll wire it up. And then it should be done shortly after that. We can start it up and then we can get out of here. So, just about done. We're going to take this off. Hmm. Alright, it's on the pump. My plan is to just put this back on there. Uh, it's going to be pretty tough though getting all these wires on there just like with how they are how short it is but it would save me a lot of time if I didn't have to take these off and re-put the plate on and do all that so we'll see how this goes okay we're wired up we got a good vacuum pulled I'm leaving my ball valve on until I open the charge that way we don't lose any vacuum because if we take this off right now it'll we'll hear psh and that is technically losing a little bit of the vacuum letting the atmosphere in so we're going to open the charge first then we'll take that off mm, bingo Okay, tested the heat, we know it works. The heat pump comes on as well. Now we're gonna test the cooling. I think it's going through a delay right now, a five minute delay. All right, cooling works, the heat works. The auxiliary heat works, it all works in order, works as it should. So we'll set it back to heat and we're out of here. 